Hi, welcome back to our video and in today's topic, we'd like to talk about something very uh, interesting and quite recent as well. So today's topic is about uh, being pregnant with COVID. Will it affect the baby? Now, this is a very uh, increasingly popular topic, especially in mainland China with recent uh, in recent times where Beijing has only fully opened up and then many people are getting affected, infected with this uh, COVID-19 uh, virus most of them are positive now and many women especially pregnant women or those who are considering to get a pregnancy they have connected with us asking us these questions hundreds of them asking uh, these uh, very important questions because they are very anxious whether or not to affect the baby first and foremost is this is actually beneficial for the baby so if you are already uh, infected with COVID-19 if you are if it shows positive that you've been infected you've, you're experiencing symptoms coughing sneezing fever these are all the typical symptoms of COVID-19 the loss of taste and smell and if you're carrying a child it's natural to be worried however it's actually beneficial because if you get infected what happens is that you will develop these antibodies and as we know antibodies are capable of transferring from the mother into the pregnancy because they are very small they can pass through the placental uh, barrier very few things can pass through the barrier only beneficial things such as nutrients, oxygen, and of course, antibodies. That's why when this baby is uh, born, when it's given birth, this baby will carry the antibodies gifted by its mother. So, so he or she, this baby, will be carrying antibodies that is transferred from the mother. We call this some form of natural transferred immunity. That's why babies uh, usually in the first six months, they rarely do get any type of infection because they have an abundant amount of uh, transferred antibodies from the mother to the baby. And within these six months, you will be, uh, you don't have to be worried at all because at this, uh, at this period of time, the baby has an extremely active and very powerful immune system because it doesn't, it hasn't encountered any uh, pathogen or antigen in the real world yet. And if it does, it responds rapidly, very sensitive, and it produces extremely high levels of antibodies to counter this uh, infection. As you may know why COVID-19 seems to affect elderly people, 60s, 70s, but you never hear it affect babies, infants, those within their two to three years old, five years old. It doesn't rarely affect them because unless this baby has immunocompromised condition, it is will not affect them uh, severely. They may have some of the symptoms. Some of them may have no symptoms at all, but it shows positive. This is all extremely normal, but they responded. They respond with this infection very efficiently, rapidly as well because of how powerful their immune system is. And most of them carry antibodies transferred from their mother. Maternal immune system is protecting the baby. So as you can see, this is actually a beneficial uh, Thing. Although you want to avoid the infection, it's completely unavoidable nowadays. It's as common as the flu. So might as well get infected and then transfer this immunity to your uh, child. So he will be much more stronger. And what you can do as the mother who's struggling with this infection, of course, you will develop symptoms. Uh, we recommend uh, that you increase your bed rest, drink more water, try to Take supplements that increase your immune system, such as zinc, because for the moment there is no effective pill or medication that can treat you. So you need to bear with it. Most most uh, patients who get infected, they recover fully within seven to ten days. And uh, try your best to maybe get some paracetamol, visit your nearest doctor for some uh, supplements, some some form of medication to actually control the fever, because we believe the fever is the most powerful most detrimental symptom that it affects but once you get through this uh, you will be fine and your child will thank you for that so i hope i've an an answered this uh, inquiry this anxious question that we get a lot from our patients and i uh, see you in the next one